Pocket Full of Sunshine, it sounds like a very positive song, but it's about those moments when everything is really hard. <laughs> I want to talk a bit about one song in particular, which is kind of weird that it's released here as a single because it has been out for like three years. I already. know, yeah. How does that make you feel to be in Europe and talking about that song again? I'm really excited to be back. Like I've actually been so homesick. Um, you know, I've, I've loved America, but I've, I've, you know, and I've written a whole nother album and everything. But uh, when I when I came to release the new material, um, the the label here and the radio here, they wanted to play Pocket Full of Sunshine, which was my hit that I had in America. And I never got a chance to release it here. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's really fun to share that song. And I've been singing it live, like this morning I sang it live on radio and um, stripped it down and did it just with the guitar. And, uh, you know, it, it was nice to share that song with, with people. Um, and, uh, but I can't wait for them to hear the new stuff because um, I think it's even better. Can you describe in short what, what Pocket Full of Sunshine is about? Pocket Full of Sunshine is just about finding an escape and I think we all need an escape in, in life. I mean we all, we all need to have let our hair down and go and party or be entertained or you know find something that feels like it takes us to another place sometimes. Is it based on a, on a personal experience because you sing do what you want, you're never gonna break me. Yeah, well, you know, I, I've definitely been in those situations where I felt like people have controlled me or um, tried to tell me that I couldn't, you know, try to squash me or, you know, I, I think it's about those times, you know. Um, again, Pocket Full of Sunshine, Pocket Full of Sunshine, it sounds like a very positive song, but it's about those moments when everything is really hard. And I've definitely had my fair share of those times. Uh, in the video you were jumping out mm. of a building. Yes. That wasn't your own idea, I think, was it? Oh yeah, that was my idea. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I was just, I remember, because I used to be a secretary when I was 17, my first job was, I was temp working and I would go around and I would, just, I could type very fast and I would just um, be the new girl in the office and uh, flirt with all the guys who came in, you know, but it was like my, my job, my day job while I made music. And I just remember that feeling of like, I, I'm, I don't, I don't want to be here right now. I want to, you know, looking outside and being like, I want to, you know, inventing a whole fantasy about what I wanted to do, you know, just like to go and have a party on the roof over there. Wouldn't that be cool? And I think the fun thing about music videos is that you, anything's possible. So your fantasies can become true. Where was it shot? It was shot in LA. Mm. And the special effects were done by? Yeah. How, 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 uh, how I don't was remember. that done? I mean, I was wearing a harness and then they just created the parachute. Um, I think it would have been harder if I was actually parachuting to have the makeup look right. <laughs> so you were just jumping in front of a green screen? Yeah, yeah. Like that. Okay. You can tell. Yeah. Um, it's no, fantasy. Yeah, yeah. It, I hope so. Yeah. I don't hope so. Mm -hmm. cool. It would be cool if it was reality. But, it would. Uh, um, My mum's the one who skydives. She, she's, she runs an amazing charity called Global Angels and she actually skydived at the height of Everest. She's much braver than me. Have you ever done such a thing? No. You never jumped? I'd like to. I actually always wanted to, but then I found out, I don't know, I've heard some horrible stories about it, so I don't want to now. <laughs> um, well, you said you're really looking forward to people hearing the new, the new stuff. Uh, what, what will your summer be like? Um, well, um, I'm, I'm going through Europe, um, different countries releasing their album or releasing the singles. At, um, in the next couple of weeks, and then I'm going to America and I'm doing a, a two month tour called the Less Is More tour. And then I'm coming back here and doing a tour. How far ahead are you planning? Is that like a year or a half a year? It's very, it's more, you know, I plan, I've got like my, you know, my five year plans, my two year plans, my, you know, and I've got so much music, you know, it's like I could keep, I just like, I could keep, I just want to find ways to keep bringing it out, you know, and not stop. I could bring out so many different albums of different styles, you know. It's uh, I can't stop writing, it's very addictive. That five year plan, uh, the last yeah. question, I want to know about that. What I does that look like? Honestly, I, I'm really not sure at this point. <laughs> Two year then? Two year is just uh, make the best music out there and um, keep challenging myself and getting real and, you know, keeping it honest and having fun. Seems yeah. like a fair deal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.